Uh, yeah, I would like to invite Councillor Anne Lucas as leader of Coventry City Council uh, to come and thank the speaker so far and to talk about why she is so passionate about ending FGM in Coventry. Good morning, everyone. Uh, no point having a woman leader if that woman leader doesn't make uh, an issue of human rights against girls and women almost at the top of your agenda, is there? So, we've already heard FGM is not uh, just an issue for women, it's an issue uh, about human rights. And as I've sat there, I've thought, oh, I bet people are thinking, here they go, politicians again, telling us what's what. I'm very honoured that I'm part of the local government association, and for those of you who perhaps don't know what it is, um, it's a cross-party organisation. We're a bit like a trade union for councils. Um, and there are over 400 local authorities represented. And what we do is we lobby government, whoever the government of the day is, on issues that affect our communities. Um, and I'm chair of the Safer Communities Board. That means I set the agenda countrywide on issues which um, end up at the Home Office. So it's quite handy, really, when you want to set the agenda about things like domestic violence, FGM, and making sure that these issues are at the top of everyone's agenda. I suppose what I would say to you is, and we heard it earlier, I'm presuming everybody's here because we think this is an abhorrent practice and we want to do something about it. It takes lots and lots of actions, but I'll tell you what it also takes. It takes funding. It takes money. Governments um, are notorious for having their own pet projects, whatever they may be. But for those of us who are determined to end this practice, we need evidence. If we are to lobby on your behalf so that we ensure that more cutters um, are prosecuted successfully, wouldn't that be good? Um, and also that those of you who do the vital work of prevention are able to carry on with that work. You need funding. And the squeaky wheel gets the oil. You shout long enough, loud enough with evidence that gives people like me, the ammunition to fight on your behalf for the people that we all want to protect. I've been, I, I, every time I hear something new about FGM, I think, oh, why didn't I realize that? And I think for me, the, the knowledge, and it, it hit me, I mean, we all go abroad, don't we? And we see expats living abroad and you think, oh, gosh, they're more British than the British. What are they playing at? You know, the flag raising in the morning and all the... And this is what communities do. They hang on to their past. Um, I have Irish family. I tell you, there's no more Irish than the Irish in Coventry. The more Irish than the Irish in Ireland. Um, we need to work together you need to pester your MPs. We've got one down there, she'll be an MP next year, Colleen Fletcher. You probably don't all live in Coventry. Wherever you live, drop a note to your MP. Ask them what they're doing about FGM. Can't do any harm, can it? And they will have to reply to you. Have a good day, I wish I could stay a bit longer. Um, we need prevention. 
those of you who work with our communities in schools, etc., health visitors, you are so precious and the work you do is vital. Those of you who work at the hard end, who see the trauma and the damage, my heart goes out to you and the people that you work with. You keep trying and I'll keep nagging. Thank you very much.